$135 million for a new time court. $1.7 million for historical costumes. These are expenses generated by the crew of the Wave Rider. This episode is all about the legends getting audited. If you knew what the legends did, you realize they're, they're, they're worth every single penny. Now, how about this? I'll set up a ride along. You can meet the gang and see where I used to live. But I can see where my money's going. Sure. You're right. These guys are grossly inefficient. This is not SEAL Team 6. And so Nate comes back to the ship expecting it's gonna be the same old ship and you've got Constantine living in the library. Nate! It's good to see you, mate. You've got a lady who looks like a Maya. Get your stinking mitts off of me, you knob! Who talks with a gnarly British accent and our team neglected to tell him. Cafe du Dome, 1927, home to the lost generation. Writers, artists, expats, they all. All right, so where's this monster? Yeah, who needs historical context and wonderment? I really wanted to do a Moonlight in Paris episode. Oh my God, it's him. Salvador Dali. With the creep with the weird mustache? Don't point. Really wanted to get like that sort of roaring 20s cafe culture. Really wanted to meet Hemingway and Fitz and Zelda and Dali and Django Reinhardt. Look, this is your plan? To catch this creature? You ask a bunch of artsy fartsy fools. Oh my God, it's him. Ernest Hemingway. It's like my dad's spirit animal. Nate is never gonna be a sort of Hemingway hero. Perhaps you'd like to settle out differences like men. Oh, I don't have time for this macho crap, man. He's a more nuanced, more sensitive kind of guy. Therefore, we hunt. Let's go get our monster. Sounds like classic legends hijinks to me.